lucky belly but in the daytime through the magic of television we're still here in chinatown this is hotel street got a lot of street parking as you see you can walk there's the crosswalks this is smith street a lot of people just walk around this is a, a saturday morning we're shooting so the open markets everything that's where we ate last night livestock tavern their chin chin place was there if you keep walking down this way in hotel it's bishop alakea all that but this is smith and hotel right across from livestock tavern is lucky belly i like ramen i love ramen so i had to try this place plus i hear they have some great poopoos and uh, all kinds of dishes plus a bento box that changes daily so let's go feed my lucky belly oh my look at this place as beautiful and as kind of decorated like across the street at livestock and someone's familiar here this is tarp tarp you're in both places yeah yeah it's our sister restaurant so i help manage both spots yeah. last night again we ate at livestock tavern we're right across the street at lucky belly and lucky me i got a uh, hot chick waiting for me to eat with me <laughs> and this place seems a little more cash local yeah. style especially with the ramen oh yeah definitely more catered towards like a little bit more family friendly and catered towards everybody really a little bit more local in terms of food and how we do our service still there's a uh, bar area for the adults but all these tables where people are enjoying different kinds of foods. You told me Saturday when, when we're shooting here is your slow day, so I can't imagine when it's crowded during the work days. Yeah, so Saturday is usually the slow day because all the businesses are not open. Uh, but throughout the week, it gets really crazy in oh. here, yeah. But people usually tend to eat about 30, 45 minutes, and then so people just keep coming in and out. Uh, the food here, I'm going to show it right away. Let's get to it. Let's start with some of the appetizers. What's this one? All right, so this is our Inari Kon Sushi. It's going to have bone marrow risotto inside with some base scallops, the mini scallops, yeah? And wrapped in a Kon Sushi wrap with pickled ginger on top and a house-made Ponzu Ondashi. Oh, man. Maybe we should open it. Chas, can you grab the knife and maybe cut that one open for me? This is, this is our new food cooking show. We're going <laughs> to not make it. We're just going to eat it. I'm gonna show you what's in it. Oh yeah, look at that. You you hit a chord with my wife there. She's gonna make that her favorite. Okay, next. All right, here we have our shrimp gyoza. It's going to be stuffed with shrimp, asparagus, and mushrooms, and it's sitting on top of a bed of edamame avocado puree, and you get a whole grain ponzu sauce on top of there. And our professional opener is gonna cut it open for us again. Look at that. Let's take a bite at home. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Okay, now this one looks like uh, that char siu bao, but what's inside of this? Inside is going to be pork belly. So it's going to be seared on both sides, and then we stuff it in a bao bun with pickle, hoisin sauce, green onions, and cilantro. And then you get more hoisin sauce on the side for you to dip into. This is our most popular appetizer. That we have. It talks, make it move like, you're eating at Lucky Belly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then, oh, okay, bento box. This is where I'm saying no more zip packs for me. <laughs> yeah, this is our bento box. We change it up every day. Uh, most of the time it is uh, seafood. Uh, today we're going to have sesame crusted ahi sitting on top of sushi rice. You get an edamame, avocado, uh, miso, corn succotash on top with bacon agadashi tofu on the side and side salad with ume ginger vinaigrette. So this one is, is tofu? Yes. And uh, salad as well. Yes. Yeah. Here's my favorite. You know why I came here? <laughs> so it's our kimchi ramen, shrimp kimchi ramen. All our ramens contain a miso-based broth with some pork and soy. Uh, but this one is going to have kimchi, bean sprouts, green onions, wakame, a soft-boiled egg. So it's still got a little bit of yolk to run with. And then you get three pieces of shrimp. Big pieces of shrimp. Yeah. And you get a bunch of togarashi dust in there as well. Tarp, I'm going to hand you the camera and right you on. can videotape me. And uh, we're going to show you how big it is. and. Again, to my head, it's going to not look as big because yeah, I got big head, yeah. But look, this is so good. I love this. And they even give the extra, uh, what kind of oil is this? Uh, chili oil. Chili oil, if you like it spicy. Yeah, they make it spicy. Okay. It has some tokarashi mm. in there. Oh, man. This is, this is going to be my favorite. I, I got to show it again to everybody. Oh, and these noodles, sun noodles, I like them. Yeah, sun noodles especially makes these noodles for us, for okay. our shop. Everybody's going to ask, where is Lucky Belly? Well, 
right on hotel and Smith, so you got a lot of transportation as you see across a livestock tavern and it's just elegant inside constant raw man coming out of the kitchen and you saw what i have and that's just a sample of some of the stuff on the menu again very simple and easy but things keep changing like the bento bowl tart people are going to ask now when are you guys open is it just during the weekdays and saturday yeah so from monday to saturday we are closed on sunday open for lunch at 11 and we shut down at 2 and we reopen again for dinner at 5 and it goes all the way till midnight okay now what about the website and or is there facebook all that kind of stuff yeah so we have a website uh, it's gonna be www.luckybelly.com and we also have a late night window also available on thursday to saturday from 10 p.m to 2 a.m all right okay so i got to try livestock and now i'm gonna eat some of this food so i'm gonna turn off my camera but thanks for letting me come by tarp of course thank you i think i'm gonna have to be a regular here all oh, right on. <laughs> <laughs> and you guys should too lucky belly Great location, they have you know bar for the adults, but it's a family place, kids are welcome as well. Let me show you where it's located. This is right on Smith Street. This goes up towards uh, Chinatown and, and uh, Chinese Cultural Plaza. Tons of buses come across hotel. This is going right to downtown. The two restaurants we just featured on Aloha Waters Tiny TV. Livestock Tavern and Lucky Belly. That's what I got today <laughs> on Aloha Waters Tiny TV on Spectrum OC 16.